Welcome to another episode of IHNA and IHM Career Australia. I am Vinesh Palan. Today we will talk about LinkedIn. What is LinkedIn? We all know it is a social media website. Is it a Facebook? Is it an Instagram? Or, or what is it? It used to be a place where job seekers go in, look for jobs. It, it, it kind of had a shame attached to it as in, you know, people think, you know, if you are on LinkedIn, you are looking for a job, so your boss should not know. That, that was what LinkedIn used to be. But today LinkedIn is a different world altogether. It has evolved. It, it's, it's, there are a lot of marketers out there. It's not just a job seeking place. There's tons of activities that happen over there. But along with the, uh, the, the natural evolving that happened to LinkedIn, there are so many negative aspects to it as well. For one, yes, LinkedIn did make the world a smaller place, but it also made people really lazy. And you know, people take things for granted out there. You know, job seekers think, you know, you go there, you ask for help, you'll get it, and things will work out. But that's not really the way, is it? LinkedIn is easy. You just have to hide behind a computer and do stuff. You know, it's like any other job, uh, social media website. There is no, no real authority or credibility behind it. And you know, it's a very non-confronting way to do things. And for that reason, you think, you know, I'll make a mistake. What's the harm in that? You think that there's no harm, but there's really so much harm that caused when you do wrong, th wrong things on LinkedIn, especially because it's a professional website. Your prospective colleagues, your colleague, existing colleagues, everyone sees those content. And keep in mind, it's so much more than job searching. People there go for professional networking, which is not just about job searching. Now let's take a look at different aspects of LinkedIn and for a start, you know, I'll touch on a few points which makes, you a, uh, which makes your LinkedIn profile a complete LinkedIn profile. What do you mean by a complete LinkedIn profile? So what are the typical things that you notice when it comes to a LinkedIn profile? First of all, you put a photo in there, then maybe a headline, then summary. That, I, I think typically that's what people focus on. Now, let me start with why having a complete LinkedIn profile is very really important for you. I, I, I like to quote uh, this, uh, this um, I like to quote a tagline by a coach which said, you know, if you do not have a complete LinkedIn profile, it's like you don't have, you, you're not properly dressed for an interview. It's like you're, you're not wearing a proper shirt for an interview if you, are, if you don't have a complete LinkedIn profile. Why would you do that? Why, as a job seeker, why would you take that risk? There is no excuse for not having a LinkedIn profile. Now, it's hard to cover all the profiles which makes a profile a, a complete LinkedIn profile, but I'll touch on the few important points here. First thing is a photo. Um, gone are the days, you know, where you hide behind a generic photo or a photo of some cats or dogs or stuff like that. You should have a professional photo. Note that this is not, a, not your passport photo, visa photo, or for some of us, not even an Aadhaar card photo. So it should be a pleasant, smiling, good quality photo, not heavily photoshopped, not, not a selfie, not an Instagram or not a Facebook photo. It should look professional. It should be crisp, clear. It should have a good background and ideally 60 to 70% of your face. Don't put a full frame photo. Don't zoom in too much either. That's, this is one most important uh, section that gives a huge advantage to your profile. Second thing is your name. Now, you can't do mu much about that, can you? But there are people who mess around that as well. You know, you put instead of name, you put your name and then you put actively looking for jobs as part of your name. Or some people put all, you know, big uh, certification names and stuff along with your name. Again, that's, that's a field that, that's supposed to have your name, just your name. Don't put anything else over there. It doesn't look professional there. The third most important thing, and this is probably the most important section of the whole of your LinkedIn profile, is your headline. Now, when I look at your LinkedIn profile, or when anyone looks at your LinkedIn profile, that headline summarizes what you are. I've seen some common headlines which look like actively looking for a job. Uh, immediately available, Australian PR, you know, stuff like this, or even software engineer at XYZ company. But take a look, sit back and uh, take a moment. Are these your skills? Is being available in the market 
or is having an Australian PR a skill for you? No, that doesn't define you. Or for that matter, even your designation doesn't define you. I'm a software engineer. If I put software engineer at XYZ company, what does that say about me? It says, yes, I'm a software engineer. But what else does it say? Absolutely nothing. So for me, I would say software engineer, the languages that I, I know, say, you know, Java, C, C++, and you know, if it's um, embedded system, finance system, stuff like that. That, should what, that is what should go into your headline. Key, this is the most important section. If you do not have this, you're taking a big hit. Don't keep it as a student, a graduate, a software engineer, mechanical engineer. No, these don't say a full story of what you are. So please keep your top skills in the headline. The next most important section is summary. So when a person looks at a profile, if they like the first three stuff that I mentioned, now they'll go and they want to know more about you, they'll take a look at your summary. Again, people give, don't give enough importance to summary. You have a big, uh, you know, I, I, I don't remember how many characters, but there's a big space where you can summarize what you are. It, 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 it shouldn't be a, you know, jungle of technical uh, terms. No, that's not what they want. It should be easy to read. You can use, yes, a few bullet points, uh, you know, to explain what your technical skills are, but more than that, it should explain who, who you are as a person, both professionally and slide uh, a small description of personal as well. You know, some people say, you know, reading a, a small paragraph on hobby, on your hobbies in a summary is a great way to bring in a personal connection. So these are the top four sections that are very important for your LinkedIn profile. Photo, your name, headline, and summary. Do you have this? Go and check your LinkedIn profile. And if you don't, work on it immediately. This is the bare minimum that you can do. Remember, this is not the complete LinkedIn profile, but this is the bare minimum you can do. And let me give you a perspective as why this is so important. Keep in mind, your LinkedIn profile is being interviewed 24 seven. Someone right now, somewhere in the world is taking a look at your LinkedIn profile and making judgment on you. Yes, they are judging you, whether they are fit for their, fit for their company, whether I can hire this person, whether this person is worthy of it, whether this person will add value to the company that they're, they're judging your profile. So go, there is no, if you're a job seeker, there is no excuse that you can't hire a you, you don't have for not having a complete LinkedIn profile. Now, we discussed about a complete LinkedIn profile, but let me ask you, is that enough? So is it like as a job seeker, you have a complete LinkedIn profile and then you're done? No, absolutely no. So having a good LinkedIn profile is like having a good resume, but how much can that work for you? Yes, people can look for search for you all over the world, come get in touch with you and you know, if they like your profile, they can get in touch with you. But you can do a lot, lot more on LinkedIn. LinkedIn, it's, it's not a resume sharing website, is it? No, it's a social media website and there are tons of stuff that you can do on LinkedIn. Now, uh, to give you a perspective again, let me explain what a typical job seeker does on LinkedIn. They stalk people, they find people who, are, who, who um, who are in their domain or they stock recruiters, they see what they're doing, they try to get in touch with them. You apply for jobs, connect to people, typically random strangers and ask for referrals, comment on job, job post, and you know, usually it's you know, comments like interested, please, uh, I've shared my resume, please uh, uh, take a look, you know, stuff like this. Question for you, are these the right things to do? Remember I mentioned in the beginning, LinkedIn has made your life easy, but that also means everyone does this. There is nothing making you a standout profile. There are millions of profiles out there, millions of people are doing the same thing. And the problem with that, the quality of applications goes down way, way much. Say, take, take for example, a job post by a recruiter. How many comments do you see, you know, interested, interested, interested? And how many of them are relevant? How many of them are in the same country? It makes a recruiter's life hard. And then you complain, hey, the I commented on this profile, 
but the recruiter didn't take a look at my profile. So it is your duty to go and talk to them. It's not their duty to come to you. So this, these are the common mistakes that people do generally on LinkedIn. Now, what more can you do apart from all, all the stuff that I mentioned already? LinkedIn is a networking website. You know, if you, if you do networking right, LinkedIn is such a powerful tool. People make millions out of networking in LinkedIn. Trust me, it's such a powerful tool, but not everyone does it right. Let me take an example of me, how, how I started LinkedIn and how I'm at a position right now. I have over 10,000 followers on LinkedIn and I just started like you. I was a job seeker and while I was job seeking, I was doing the stuff that I told you, you know, uh, stalking people, messaging them, asking for referral, applying for jobs. That's all, that, that's all I did over there. Um, over time, I just wanted to vent my frustration with job search and I sh uh, started sharing, uh, you know, my story on LinkedIn. And it, 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 it's not rocket science. I was just saying, you know, how did I uh, decide to move to Australia? How did I take a PR? How did I end com uh, come here? You know, what I did in the first days after coming here. So I started sharing a few blog posts on LinkedIn. I was surprised by the result, you know, a, a few people started commenting saying, you know, I'm going through this, you know, we are together in, the, in this. Uh, some mentioned, you know, I'll be taking this journey soon. Thank you so much for sharing this. It was, it was a wonderful experience to have it. And one day after I think three or four posts, a particular recruiter that I was chasing for like six, seven months, I, I, I connected him over LinkedIn. I sent him messages. I sent him emails. I tried to call him. It was a dead end. This particular recruiter called me up. He did not have any roles in his hand. He, he just wanted to have a chat with me. He just asked, you know, what you're doing, what your expertise is. I read your story. Um, uh, I definitely get back to you if there is any role. So I was surprised. What changed? I was doing LinkedIn. I, I was on LinkedIn for eight months, but I never got this call month call back. So what changed right now? Unknowingly, this was the start of my personal branding, and content generation has a huge uh, value in it. So I did something that probably 95% of people on LinkedIn do, don't do. I shared something, I shared content. People started seeing me, I started being visible. People started coming to me instead of me chasing them down. That was a huge uh, turnaround in, in my LinkedIn journey so far and that's how I started. And then I started sharing simple things, simple LinkedIn tips, you know, you should have a good photo, you should have a good headline, stuff like that. And over time, being consistent and persistent, you know, it got me here. I didn't, if you, if you read at my post, it, it's common sense. You know, pe most of the people come and, you know, hey, this is common sense. But when you put it like that, it, it totally makes sense, right? So you don't have to be a rocket scientist. You don't have to be a content generator. Anyone can do this. Anyone can start generating content today. The only rules are you have to be consistent. You have to churn out, you have to write down something every week. If you take a break for a couple of months, your your momentum is lost so you have to be consistent on that and there's something about uh, uh, the feeling that you get when you're appreciated that that kind of makes up for your job search for frustration so that's also very important so what can you do on linkedin well content creation is the best way to do, uh, go about linkedin now you would think what to post, you know, what do I post every day? This is not Facebook where I check in every location or this is not Instagram where I put a selfie up there. No, those are not the things you can do. But say, as a typical job seeker, what do you go through? You go for meetings, you go for meetups, you learn new things, you take some certification, you learn uh, new skills. Share all these on LinkedIn, for example, uh, for example, you're watching this video today. What did you learn out of it? Share it on LinkedIn, right? Sharing content, sharing a story, not only helps you understand better what we just talked about, but it also spreads a message to maybe 10 other people. They'll be grateful for you. If, they, if it's really useful, they'll be grateful for you. And don't ever think your story is not valuable. The stuff or the journey that you have gone through so far, maybe you've been uh, you have migrated to uh, Australia, you have been job searching for three, four months. There is someone else 
thinking about migrating to Australia or there is someone else going to land in, uh, in Australia soon and starting their job search. Your experience will help them. Your experience will help them not to repeat the same mistakes you did. Don't be selfish, share it. It'll help someone and it'll make their day and they'll remember you for that probably for their whole life. And so, as I said, content creation is simple. I started with sharing my story. You can start sharing, you can start today by sharing a story about this. You go for a meetup or you go for a catch up, you share about that. You take a certificate, explain what challenges you had with that certification, how did you go about that certification, and share that certificate, celebrate that win. So these are the different uh, content that you can generate on LinkedIn. So what have you been doing on LinkedIn so far? I'm sure you haven't started on content creation. I hope you have enough content for, for a start today. Uh, please connect to us on LinkedIn and let us know how, how your journey has begun or how this uh, video has changed the way you see on LinkedIn. If you need more info, please get in touch with us at careeraustralia at m4tv.com.au. Thank you and until next time, bye-bye.